say that we've not seen anything like this since 1812, when the British broke into the Capitol and burned down the Capitol building. But I would suggest that for oppressed people, Native people, Indians, Latinos, Black people, we've seen this many times. And so what you're seeing today has an element of America in it. It's not non-American, it's un-American. It should be based on our Constitution, but it's not non-American. There's been times that we've seen it throughout America. As a movement that has protested in state capitals and on our nation's capital, we've seen and we've been met with force while engaged in nonviolent protest, praying, singing, and peacefully marching. The people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th were not protesting nonviolently. They were engaged in violent tactics, yet they were protected by the law. Now, they gave us one warning, said we got on the step, we get another one. Look at your name and say, we turn back today. But there's a day coming. Go to the offices, nonviolently, and stand. Stand. Put our bodies on the line, Put our bodies on the line. For, justice. for justice. We're trying to go into the speaker's office. We've been trying to deliver these demands of the poor people's campaign. And that's the, that's the rules coming around from them, not from y'all. The rules coming from them. All right. Here we come to demand. This is Inspector Eric Walden, United States Capitol Police. You are engaging in illegal demonstration activity. You need to cease and desist or you'll be arrested. This is your first warning. That are unaccountable. That are unaccountable. To the democratic process. To the democratic process. The guarantees. The right to vote. The guarantees. You are engaging in illegal demonstration activity. You need to cease and desist or you'll be arrested. This is your second warning. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. We're here in front of the Supreme Court. Nine people are being arrested, protesting the decisions of the Supreme Court who are part of the Poor People's Campaign. You're in violation of Title 40. If you do not leave, you will be arrested. Hundreds of people are standing, lining the streets between the Supreme Court and the Capitol. Stop! Stop! The violence! The violence! Do! Do! What is right! What is right! So as you can see, the Secret Service has closed the gates. They cannot close away from the judgment of God. That's right. They cannot close down the voice and the power of justice. Is it a felony? Are you right? Here we go. Everybody that comes, if you have one, we have the tape, and we want you to come tape them right here on this side. The more you refuse to hear my voice, the louder I will sing. It's crucial that we make ourselves heard. No one is listening. We write letters, we make calls. No one is listening. So we got to make our, find a way to make ourselves heard. We are the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And we are here. We are poor. We are clergy. And we're here to say to our nation's capital and to the highest court in this land that everybody has a right to live. We read Article 6 of the Kentucky State Constitution okay. that says we have a right to free assembly. There's no need to boo the officers. That's ridiculous. They are being ordered to do this. Your focus is on McCory, Tillis, and Burger. And, 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 if you can't maintain discipline, we'd ask you to leave because we don't have to do that. Our focus is on policy. Our focus is on legislation. The people that we are fighting for are not served. These officers, some of them don't even want to do this. Agenda is education. 
can chase a thousand yes, sir. and two can put ten thousand to flight. Yes, Faith tells us Faith if God is for you, yeah. it doesn't matter if the whole world is against you. Yeah. Faith tells us Faith. that Goliath was nine feet tall. Yeah. David was short and rooted. Yeah. But when the dust cleared, it was reported yeah. that when you walk by faith, by faith, the bigger they come, yeah. the harder they fall. Slavery had the number, but keep on reading the story. Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, they won. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was in a wheelchair. He faced the Great Depression. He faced Darwinist capitalists who opposed Social Security and public works. They said he couldn't do it, but read the rest of the story. Roosevelt won. Martin Luther King wasn't but five feet six inches tall. They said he was a short man, too small to turn America. But read the rest of the story. They put Nelson Mandela, they put him in prison for 19 years, said it was all over. But read the rest of the story. He went from prisoner to president. They said a little big eared boy from Illinois with a funny name, couldn't get elected in America. But read the rest of the story when it's all over. When it's all over. When it's all over. When it's all over. We win.